Welcome to John's Battle Tetting Adventures. Here we are again, searching for history. And today we're going to have another go with a golden mask plus one. Now, me and my friends have done this field so many times, and if the golden mask pulls some stuff out, brilliant. But it's a well built machine, carbon fiber rods, easy switch on machine, go to factory settings, and away you go. Brilliant recovery speed. Let's give her a whirl and see what we're going to find. Catch you later. It's down there somewhere. Get it out then. I think it's a dog whistle for controlling uh, dogs for herding sheep, personally, I think. That's what I think that is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Oh, it looks like it's top, but I took a big chunk out. Ah, there you are, it's a coin, well I'll have to clean that up. Oh brilliant, a small bit of silver, I think it looks like hammered but I'm not really sure, it's, it's strange as this when it's got hallmarks on it, which I've got to identify, but it looks like a coin, but no doubt I'll clean it up and show you later. Is it in here? Is it in there? Don't know. It's in this bit. In here. Oh, it's a coin, but what we don't know. So, better check that out, see what it is. Clean up, show you later. In there. Yeah, is that it? No, it's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. It's in here. In here. There we are, it's in here somewhere. What is it? Come on, reveal. Oh. Nope. It's in here. Come on now. Oh, there you go. Musket shot. 16th to 17th century, musket shot, it's only a little one, small ball, ball in, it looks like that colour. Well here we got this big sod here, uh, it's in here somewhere so, in mean that, so it's got to be in there somewhere. <laughs> oh it's in here look. Third, but uh, to clean it up and see what's on it. 
the large 50p. How many of them I found? I've lost count. A heck of a lot. Probably 1970s these. Try the fifth penny. Yeah, two pound up. Two pound English money. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. Two pound English money for the use of. Piece of pewter, but I thought it was a George III uh, penny. It's actually uh, on a rev it's reversed. A reversed George III on pewter, which is unusual, usually copper. And I think I know where it is. It's it's, a fr it's, it's for making fraudulent half penny uh, George III half penny coins. <laughs> fraudulent, and it's it's something reverse. 1806. Yeah, I think I think I just saw it there with me magnifying glass. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So fraudulent template template for one side of a George III half penny. Just got the head side there. Don't know where the other bit is. Amazing. I think it's uh, Victorian, but we'll check it out later and give you the date. I've got a signal in here. Uh, oh, there it is. Some sort of uh, band buckle. Wide band buckle. Not sure on the age of that. Ah, I've got a flood in there, 19, 20. I think it's... Um, Probably Elizabeth II, Florin, Cooper and Nickel. Bit of black pottery, thin, glazed on one side. 17th to 18th century, I think, they're definite. Spoon, 17th century, 18th century. Coke spoon, you can tell because it's a small little bowl thing. Obviously, it's missing its handle, but that's a Coke spoon. I found quite a few of them. I think it's an old uh, gas tap. What that is? An old gas tap made of br brass. Yeah. Another two pound coin. It's four quid today. Four pounds today. Oh, we're doing well. We're doing well. Quids in. Quids in. Nice signal. Ish. It's in here, I think. Oh no, you're joking there. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I think we got off it. <laughs> well done, Golden Mouth. Well done, Golden Mouth. We got off it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, wow. Oh yes, Ahmed for the golden mask. Well done, excellent, excellent. Oh yes, the golden mask has come up trumps and got a hammered. Excellent, don't know what it is, but I'll clean it up and show you later. Brilliant, hammered, yeah. <laughs>